we are here today because it's my girlfriend's uh, Jillian's last day of chemo. It's been a very tough road as you can imagine, but it's a happy day. So I'm planning to surprise her by asking her to marry me today. Jillian, hell handsome, will you marry me? already such an exciting day that I just felt like how could it get better? And that's what you need an answer. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes or no? Yes! I had all my friends around me. It was my last day of chemotherapy. I had my favorite nurse doing my chemo that day who I love more than anything. Oh, thank you all for everything. You're welcome. Congratulations. You so deserve you. it. I just didn't think it could get any better. Still doing radiation, still recovering from plastic surgery. I just wasn't in like that mindset to be getting ready for a wedding. My friend Bianca, who is another breast cancer survivor, her and I are part of a nonprofit called the Breasties. She's like, I was just at a Breastie event and there was a wedding planning company there. One wedding, they do pro bono every year. Lauren asked me a lot of questions about like my journey and what I had been through. And she just was like, I think that you're just like a perfect candidate for somebody who's deserving of it. Now I got to pick out wedding dresses and flowers and not like, okay, well, what are you gonna eat after chemo and how are your levels? They just really made a lot of things happen that we didn't think could happen. There's these people that come out of nowhere that are like, I want to help. My hair was at a really odd stage. It was like super short, but I felt very pale and sickly. I just was not feeling my best self. It was hard to envision like how I was going to look and feeling confident and feeling pretty. The second I put it on, I was like, crap, I love this. Like, what? We were able to get your wedding dress fully sponsored, and it will be getting delivered to you next month. Uh, oh my god, really? <laughs> yes, really. It is a gift from the wedding designer. Oh my god. <laughs> yes. We're like, for, like I don't have to pay anything for it at all? Nothing. Oh my god. They were so are you recording hard. me? No. I guess you are. <laughs> yes, hair grows back and everything, but you, you're a different person, physically and emotionally. To look in the mirror at like, this is what I've been through. This is what I've had to do. It was very difficult to get confident and comfortable in yourself again. So to put on an article of clothing that helped me feel so much better was just so amazing to me. She looks beautiful, like more beautiful than I could have imagined. It felt really good to have positive attention on me over that past and even still a little bit. I have attention on me for, you know, cancer treatment and care and the doctor's appointments, but it's not positive. It's, you know, like, how did chemo go today? Or how was blood work? Like, that's not like, yay. 
So to have it be on like, you look beautiful, like you're, you know, the food is so good. And are you having a good time? Like it, everything was positive. I want to freeze time right now because everything is just, we have all these people we love and that love us in just this one space right now and are here for just to celebrate our love. It was more of like a celebration of, okay, we're getting married, but everybody watching got us to where we, we are now.